I guess my favorite teammate would be. Is it cheating if I pick you? I'm never bored of ID5. So, yeah. So, this is one feature I worked on, which was essentially making a central configuration system for all of our products broadly. And that's sort of uh, coming into production soon. And I spent quite a bit of time working on that and I enjoyed myself a lot. And when I'm not really inventing the wheel here. Uh, configuration systems are like, they've been a part of computing and programming since the beginning. But uh, simply just designing that little piece of software which has enough complexity but at the same time is understandable and writing the entire thing of course. As a programmer you relate more to the things which you entirely worked on yourself rather than things which uh, you work on parts and other people work on parts. At least I feel that way. Uh, currently I am working on a project where we are uh, basically trying to simplify the workflows. Since the product has grown so big, we have multiple workflows that are uh, designed in the system. We want to simplify it and we want, it, uh, we want people in the organization such as uh, the product team or the market development team who can directly you know, design those workflows and we can take it out directly to the client instead of waiting for the tech team to get involved in it. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm currently working on. I do a whole bunch of things. Um, I lead the machine learning team. I work with uh, a couple of other teams uh, developing software products. So uh, a lot of products and services at IDFI depend on um, machine learning algorithms uh, to provide the right kind of services to our uh, customers, uh, be it uh, OCR, where we extract the relevant information from our various documents, uh, detecting live faces in images, uh, the ability to uh, perform certain other tasks that are relevant to KYC workflows. Uh, they all use uh, machine learning algorithms at their core. So that's what, what we do here. So right now I'm working uh, on Data Fabric, which is basically a product that we are building to serve data as a service and insights as a service. As a job, like I would say interesting, interesting, interesting and still there. Uh, primarily because of, uh, for me, I've been lucky to get new work almost every year, year and a half, right? So it's always been just interesting working on new things, new technologies, grounds up, building products, grounds up. That, that's primarily been what I've done so far in the last three years. So I, I started uh, with building uh, a small adapter in a new technology which I had never heard of before. Uh, at the very start of my journey at Edify, then build, went on to work on the legacy HR portal that we have in place, right? Uh, after that, uh, built a lot of Eve services, which are basically OCR applications uh, that we built. Uh, these were primarily aimed at improving accuracy. Uh, then went on to work on the liveness model, which is basically a deep learning model that we were building uh, again. Uh, for primary use cases of face detection and stuff. Uh, then went on to uh, do a lot of work on the platform side where I was automating test cases, automating integration test cases, stuff like that. Uh, writing CI CD jobs to automate that process, optimize that process. Uh, then went on to do the longest stint of building the profile of product, profile of and video services product, which was basically one and a half year long. And like, as you know it, uh, we are primarily serving a lot of big banking clients and stuff. So that that's the platform that I built with a couple of other guys grounds up. And now I'm working on the data fabric team, which is basically building the data and inside the service product for everyone at IDFI and the customers of IDFI. It was pretty much me having to go through a bunch of code bases, trying to figure out okay, what is going on and where is it happening? How is it happening? And uh, I was one of the original people who actually started making packages, etc. And just figuring out everything around that. It was just that I would describe as by far the toughest or the most challenging uh, intellectual problem that I faced in 95. Of course, there have been other challenging problems related to other areas like time management is a, most, is a pretty big problem for me at least. But uh, that original phase when I was an intern, I had just freshly joined. 
that was one of the most challenging phases for me but of course i grew into it and with the help of the team especially rishikesh managed to get a better and better idea of everything i think the profile of and videos of this platform that we built was challenging and the reason it was challenging is for two reasons one is we were working with a technology that that was being used globally for a good amount of time but we had identified no one had identified used it in the past so there was that and then the second was the importance of that particular product coming out with the video kyc rbi mandate for allowing video kyc for bank account opening right so uh, i'll go into the details of how it was complex technically uh, so profile hub is a, basically a workflow engine and what that means is you as a client get to decide what happens during the client the customer journey post customer journey and during the review phase right so all of this is configurable end to end to the extent that what the ui looks like is also configurable so uh, this again like if you look at the amount of permutations combination that are possible it's just not possible to build something which is built on simple if else, if else conditions it needs to be a generic workflow engine something similar to the bpm in one models that we've seen so that was the most complex thing i think i've worked on so far and some something that i'm very proud of as well uh, and the video services side which is basically building a video calling platform again grounds up at i5 with allocation logic with uh, customer drop offs with working with web sockets a, a lot of these were something that we were all new at i5 so yeah uh been in the middle of quite a few i can off the top of my head think of two uh one is when we uh, did significant improvements on our uh, liveness models and algorithms to provide a uh, hugely improved accuracy and system performance and uh, one of the best days of my time at id5 when we finally took it live uh the second has been taking uh some of our earliest video kyc clients live uh i remember that it it was a time when we were working very closely with our clients late in the night uh doing extensive testing taking this uh product and platform live and that that has been uh pretty intense and but uh, uh given me great satisfaction uh, especially because it was never something that i actually signed up to work with so it's because of line of business that we're in right you have to be extremely careful about things where i could be a little fast and lose earlier uh so the amount of volumes of data that we go through as in i'll give an example if there is a 1% chance of something going wrong a process going wrong then statistically every day that thing is going to go wrong at least 15 20 times just because we do things so often we do such high volumes of things so i won't call it the worst thing but it's definitely the thing that uh, keeps me up at night the most like did i get everything right 